Hello, what we got going on today is we got a Click PLC trainer talking to a V1000 drive. This is a Yaskawa drive. The drive is actually powered up with 480, but no motor hooked up. This is just a little half horsepower drive we're using to show this. So, this is RS485, wired straight through from the Click PLC on the cable, and as you can see, it goes straight to the drive. And it's just send to send, receive to receive, and we got the jumpers on the R's and the S's on the drive. So now we're gonna show you the Click to PLC and the V1000 in action. So when I hit this green button here, green light's gonna turn on, it runs a start command to the drive, and you can see that it went to 15 hertz. I got the drive scale 15 to 60 off this pot switch. So this pot switch is actually wired back to the analog input of this PLC and then converted and talking 45 out to run, give a frequency command on the drive. So now I got it running at 60 hertz, right? I got this switch set here to go in reverse. So now if you look at the display, it went from 60 hertz and it's gonna keep going down to zero and then it should go to minus 60. There we go, now we're going full reverse. So we're just gonna change it back to forward. The green light turned on. Should go up to 60. There we go, now we're at 60. Now one thing I did just to see it is I I wrote the voltage that's being read back from the drive to this analog output here, display. So right now 460 volts is coming out of the drive, so you'll see like the 4.6 volts on the display. And I'm gonna turn the dial down, bring the frequency down, and you should see the voltage go down. Pretty cool, huh? So I'll run that baby back up. And then I'll give it a stop command. I'll give it a stop command, it says stop here. And as you see the drive hertz are going back down to zero. And it'll just sit there and wait until I get with the next command. That's how we run the drive. Now we're gonna show you the ladder logic in the PLC. So what we got here is we got a start button on X3. I hit the start button. You'll see X4 is my stop button, it's not being pressed. It seals in C1 bit. I hit the stop button, X4. It breaks the seal on C1 bit, shuts off. C1 bit is my run bit, so like a run latch. So for my forward and reverse and run three and four, if C1 is on, it's looking at the status of switch X1, and if that's on, it's gonna run forward. If the switch is off, it's gonna run reverse. And when it's on, it's gonna run the green light. When it's off, it's gonna run the yellow light. And when I break my seal in my run bit and shut it off, then my red light turns on to show that the drive is stopped. Here on rung six and seven, I'm sending a, a value to my command word. The command word is the Modbus address to command the drive to stop, run, forward reverse, give it an external fault, or to reset it. So if you see, I turn on my C1 bit, there it is, and my switch is on, I'm writing a one to the command word, which is telling the drive to go forward. If I flip X1 off and my run bit's still on, I write a two to the drive, which tells the drive to go in reverse. If I hit the stop button, my C1 bit turns off and I write a zero to the command word, which tells the drive to stop. On rung nine, you can see I'm taking the pot switch, which is mapped to DF1, and it's got a value of 6,000 right now to command our frequency command word at DS11. So as you can see, the 6,000 in there is actually 60 hertz, is an implied decimal in the drive. So if I take my pot switch and I bring it down, I got it all the way down, and what I have it set is to start at 1500. 
so the slowest the drive can go is 15 hertz. I'll bring it back up to 60 hertz. So now in rung 10, you'll see there's my Modbus write command. And what that's doing is it's taking DS10, my run command, and DS11, my frequency command, and writing it to Modbus registers starting at 1H. What I'm doing is I'm writing these drive and frequency commands once every 500 milliseconds. And then I'm, I'm going to open up the uh, command box so you can see the values. At rung 11, you can see I'm reading the Modbus values. I'm reading values starting at address 23H. H is for hexadecimal. And I'm reading six parameters actually. So one important thing to do in setting up the drive to begin with is, uh, as you can see, like H51 equals one, H52 equals three, H53 equals zero, H55 equals five, and H57 equals one. Those are the parameters inside the drive to set up the values in order to talk. I'm gonna open up uh, my write box so you can see the parameters I got set for that. So as you can see, it's set up for Modbus at station one, starting at 23H. I'm write, reading it into value DS1 for six locations. And here you can see the values I'm reading and scaling. So I'm taking, I'm looking right now just at the frequency reference that's in the drive. So that's what the drive knows that the pot switch puts into it. So the pot switch basically writes the one parameter and then puts it into that reference parameter. The output frequency scale is how fast that the drive is actually going. So you'll see like I'm going 60, I got it set at 60 hertz and it's climbing in there and just hit 60. My output voltage right now is 460.3.4. As I bring the hertz down, you'll see output voltage go down. My current is currently zero, and that's because there's no motor hooked up to the drive. So this is our setup with a Click PLC and a B1000 Escala drive talking 485. Hopefully with the information we gave you, you can recreate this setup. Thank you.